الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله الله عز وجل is the all forgiving most merciful tabaraka ta'ala that means he forgives all sins <clears throat> if you make tawbah to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before it's too late wa kadhalika likewise allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is shadid al-iqab he is the most severe Tabarak wa ta'ala in punishment. <clears throat> and with that being the case, Sahabatif Allah, it's very important <clears throat> that we understand that we should never get in the habit of sin and transgression. Sin and oppression. And being disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He can have Hil Kareem. In Allah, La Yaghfiru and Yushrika bi. وَيَغْفِرُ مَا دُونَ ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says فِي كِتَابِهِ الْكَرِيمِ Let's make sure the bears and cougars hear this as well. إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَغْفِرُ وَنْ يُشْرِكَ بِهِ وَيَغْفِرُ مَا دُونَ ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءَ Verily Allah does not forgive that you commit shirk with him. But he forgives, uh, he forgives whomsoever he pleases other than that. So, this ayah, this refers to the fact, and of course, it substantiates the itiqad of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, because Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, they take their creed, their itiqad, from the book in the Sunnah. They don't make up their itiqad as they go along. Meaning, they don't come up with a creed, they don't come up with a belief in an ide ideology, then they struggle and strive and rush to the Quran and Sunnah to try to substantiate it. Instead, they go to the Qur'an, the Sunnah, the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah, and this is how they understand the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is how they understand the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is how they understand their religion. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this verse, in Allah la yaghfiru an yushrika bih, وَيَغْفِرَ مَا دُونَ ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءَ He says, this means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all sins. يَغْفِرَ الذُّنُوبِ جَمِيعًا He forgives all sins. Looks like they've been using their shotgun out here. يَغْفِرَ الذُّنُوبِ جَمِيعًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all sins. As long as you die on Tawheed. As long as you don't die on the opposite, which is shirk. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you for all of those wicked deeds that you continue to do. <coughs> we get so many questions, Ahabatifillah, about people falling into the ma major kufr or shirk, especially children and young, young people who are not even responsible most of the time for what they've done 
and the ideas that come to their head, and they're young, they're not even in the age of puberty, but they're concerned about it, which is a good thing in that they want to be cautious with regards to issues of their deen. But we don't want them to be so concerned that they're paralyzed when it comes to practicing their religion, that they're afraid or that they suffer from OCD or some sort of mental disorder, which seems to be very prevalent in this day and age, more so than ever. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. So the point of mentioning this ayah, Ahabatifillah, is to show us that you can be forgiven for your sins. But you have to, absolutely have to, make every effort to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to remove those sins from your lives, to strive to be forgiven by your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, by meeting the conditions of tawbah ila Allah And that means leaving off the sin, having the determination to not return to it. And, may, and feeling a nedim, feeling sorrow for the sins that you did and making istighfar. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us all with tawfiq and making tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad <clears throat> wa ala alihi wa sallam.